dominion and royalty the bible calls the lion the king among the animals that move on land are we together now we'll just touch on it quickly and then we'll go to the core area we're dealing with tonight lion talks of dominion talks of power talks of splendor so when you begin your dealing in the school of the spirit listen carefully you are exposed to your right in christ you are exposed to your authority in christ you get to understand that you are not a non-entity that you've been raised up with christ according to paul's gospel in ephesians that you have been made to sit with him you understand that you have exousia capacity to legislate on behalf of the parliament of heaven that is the face of the lion the training that cultures you into an understanding of dominion every believer who wants to be used by god as a witness you must be able to understand the dimension of the training that is represented in the face of a lion you must know who you are in christ you must know that you are not a victim of situations and circumstances that you have been exalted raised up with christ the bible says but if all you know is that you have been exalted in christ you have been raised if that is all the dimensions you know it will come with a side effect the side effect is pride the awareness of the kind of privilege and the kind of honor that god has given to you and just leaving it like that will end you in pride and in arrogance so there are several people i know who i am and you are right but then you are wrong eventually because they do not know that authority in the kingdom has a purpose authority without a purpose would lead to destruction you cannot invest so much power to men and women and not connected to purpose it is dangerous to empower people without giving them a purpose so the face of the second creature the calf Luke chapter 22 for sake of time we'll read from verse 25 to 27 he lets you know the face of a calf talks of servanthood a calf or an ox was used to plow the land now when he teaches you that you are mighty you are a king you are a priest you're not a non-entity then he lets you know that the purpose of that authority is for service authority is not for self-aggrandizement it's not for usurping people it's not for subjugating people it's to be a servant and to serve the purposes of the kingdom luke 22 please give us from verse 25 he says and he said unto them the kings of the gentiles exercise lordship over them and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors 26 now it says but ye shall not be so but he that is greatest among you he will prove his greatness by being the younger and he that is chief as he that doth serve 27 for whether is greater he that seated at meat or he that serveth is not he that seated at meat but i am among you jesus said as he that serves everybody please say after me the purpose of authority is for service there are many believers with an imbalance of the idea of dominion we are obsessed with dominion but then that consciousness still destroys us because we do not know that the purpose of dominion and authority in the kingdom is for service if the only thing you know is the face of the lion you are in error the imbalance that comes with the face of the lion is corrected by the face of the cow so while i know that i'm a great man i am anointed I'm, I, I have power i have dominion i'm seated with christ living that believer like that will lead to imbalance it will lead to pride like it's happening to many people in ministry in business etc so he lets you know that you are a servant that the reason why he gave you money he gave you influence he gave you a ministry is to have the privilege and the honor of serving god's people ladies and gentlemen believers listen you cannot tell the kind of honor and joy in my heart every week 
and every time i have the privilege the rare privilege of serving you the truth of god's word i have been doing this for many years and yet every week it is a privilege it is for this cause that i travel around the nations i travel around this nation and regardless of how stressful it is i am motivated by the fact that as we continue to walk in the consciousness of this authority this dominion power we realize that just being a king without service makes you a wicked king and an irresponsible king god demonstrated that he was king by showing us that he was lord of the universe but he came down and he served if all you have is authority and dominion and you do not have the heart of a servant you will not go far as far as being a witness is concerned this is a principle that is true for ministry it's a principle that is true for business it's a principle that is true for government the purpose of power is service if you are unwilling to serve there is no need looking for power are we together the face of an ox but then like the lion just knowing that you are a servant alone has its own side effect the side effect is that you can serve and serve and men can take advantage of you because of your humility people will use you people will take advantage of you for their selfish reasons and then he introduces the third phase that gives you balance that even though you are a servant with so passionate love for people you are human the face of a man are we together now the third phase lets you know it speaks about your humanity john chapter 11 and verse 35 the bible is not afraid to show us the humanity of jesus read with me interesting simple but very deep ready to read one two go change jesus to life ready one two read resurrection wept the word of god wept it is powerful to know that when he walked upon the earth as a man he was not a superhuman he was hungry and he let us know he was hungry he cursed a tree because it wasted his time and did not give him food the humanity of men follow me you are a lion you have dominion you are one with christ why have i been given that authority the authority is given for service but whilst you serve you live in a world of men that is mad with selfishness they will walk you out they will kill you if need be so he teaches you that whilst it is true you are a servant you are human it is okay to cry hebrews chapter 4 and verse 15 please are we learning something already hebrews 4 and verse 15 for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity this is my definition of compassion compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity the bible says but he was in all points tempted like us yet without sin so jesus was a man hebrews chapter 2 from verse 16 hebrews chapter 2 and verse 16 please it says for verily he looked not on him he took not on him the nature of angels but took on him the seed of abraham that means he came as a man wherefore in all things it behoved him to be made like unto his brethren that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to god to make reconciliation for the sin of the people last verse for in that himself had suffered being tempted he is able to succor them that are tempted listen your humanity is an advantage it lets people to appreciate the all-surpassing power of god in you you know for a very long time in the body of christ especially it has looked like an embarrassment for anointed people to reveal their human nature and members are very wonderful but interesting people 
because they can look at you and say i can't believe it you are eating swallow and you feel guilty for being human they say no 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 i just uh, decided to break my fast of 500 days just for one day so i'll continue what in the world is wrong with saying i am hungry honestly hungry while serving his purposes and now they wake you up by two or three and say wow i'm disappointed why should i be sleeping and you're sleeping too and you feel guilty you apologize for sleeping many people have paid the price for strangling away their humanity jesus wept jesus was hungry jesus grew jesus was pained many people love jesus because they don't know he was once human do you know why those who lived in his days hated him because he expressed his humanity very seriously he entered the temple one time and he saw people exchanging and they were making money from the house of god he did not go to the roman government to say look i am i'm zealous i came from heaven are you aware of that the bible says he was angry he didn't say he was laughing and say wow i see uh -uh, the zeal of the lord ate him up and he took a whip and whipped them hallelujah your humanity is a blessing it makes people to be able to see you and know that truly there is an earthen vessel it is the excellency of the power that is of god your humanity will give you balance you know i've shared my story here very very funny years ago i used to feel guilty people would tell me remember apostle you were sent to us you told us that god sent you to us and I would feel guilty sometimes tired and sleepy and people will sleep they will rest they will refresh then they will come and meet me and say look I need counseling I need this and I've told them God sent me to them so one day this deliverer let me tell you where my deliverance happened I entered a Catholic Church and you know they have a crucifix there and the lord asked me to look at that crucifix i looked at it with passion and for the first time i truly realized that it was not me that died on that cross <laughs> i am only a witness let me i will give you a scriptural proof of what i'm saying john chapter one please give us from verse six john chapter one this is a deliverance for us there was a man even though he was sent from god when he arrived the earth he was a man and his name was john seven the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through his effective witness might believe here is a deliverance verse eight he was not that light but was sent to bear witness to that light yes sir you are not jesus christ you are not the king of glory you are one with him your dominion is shared dominion not absolute dominion please hear me when you are tired rest when you are hungry eat when you are pain cry when you are happy rejoice the face of a man is also in the throne room